Hello, dear friends. Welcome to our intro program today. Uh, I'm Ella. I would like to announce that our English uh, full stack mobile developer, full stack Java developer, and full stack automation test engineer and boot uh, backend developer courses will start September 16th. As Tech for Education, we are happy to offer you uh, new opportunities to let you. Uh, let you reach your career goals. In today's program, which we planned as one or one and a half hour, uh, we will get course introduction from our two of our instructors. And one of our alumni will be with us. He is going to tell us about his uh, IT journey, as, uh, as always. And uh, uh, we have some exciting news for you. You have a chance to win some fantastic discounts for those um, who attend these introduction programs. We will have a raffle on September 15th to offer one uh, full scholarship, like 100% of discount and one 75% of discount to 50% of discount and for uh, 25 uh, discount percent of discount for those who attend the introduction programs. Um, and before we start, I would like to introduce you, Mr. Ahmed, but uh, before I give the speech to him, I would like to give brief information about him. He has bachelor's in math and master's in education, and he has many degrees in robotics and robotic coaching and MET Olympiad coaching. Currently, he's a senior software engineer at USA Bank of America, which is the second largest bank in America. He's involving in uh, interviews and hiring process as well. He has 15 years of teaching experience and four years of IT training experience. I would like to tell some of his expert areas as well such as front-end development with React uh, JavaScript, application automation with Selenium Java, and Salesforce development. Uh, plus, he holds a valid teaching license in USA. Uh, he has Java Oracle certification as well, and uh, he will be one of our instructors. So without any further ado, I would like to give the speech. I would like to invite Mr. Ahmed. Hello, Mr. Ahmed. Welcome. Hi, Miss Ella. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. And you can share your screen. All you right. like. Perfect. All right. So, um, welcome everyone to our Java developer intro session. Uh, in today's intro, we will be introducing the Java developer program and uh, mobile developer program. Uh, so, first of all, I will talk a little bit about our institution, Take for Education, uh, who we are, uh, and what is our background, uh, and what we are doing in general, uh, without talking anything about Java Developer, because when you select a program, institution is also important. So, it is... Uh, so that's why I, I will just talk about a little bit our institution. So we have uh, like serving all around the world. We have some alumni uh, who is working in repeti repetitive comp uh, com company companies uh, in uh, for, for a long time. So uh, as you see, this is some of our alumni in all six continents that is currently graduated from our company and currently is working uh, in the companies. So, uh, first of all, guys, when we say IT, information technology, uh, nothing to be scared of. So, it is doable, it can be doable. Uh, of course, there are some programs that requires high-level education, high-level experience, high-level, you know, training. Um, that can require some PhD degrees. However, the programs that we are offering do not require any technical background. They do not require any college degree. Uh, even we had some alumni who did not have high school degree. They got a job because of the training. 
So it can be doable. You don't have to be super smart. No IT background needed. No degree needed. Anybody can do it. Then why everybody is not doing it? It is because maybe uh, they do not have the opportunity. Maybe they are not aware of. There is a fact that you can come to a boot camp, get your training within about six months, and get your project, get the business culture, get the technique that you need, then prepare for the interview and get your first IT career. Maybe some, it is not very common in some countries. So that's why not everybody is doing it. The second thing is, of course, it is important to find a good institution that gives you the necessary tools, necessary techniques, and gives you the business language and business culture. It is very important to learn how the business works, how the system works in IT companies. Um, and what is the requirement from you? You need to just make your decision, be determined, put some extra effort and passion. That's all we want from you. Um, we have like NIT school programs uh, with um, six to eight months of career programs uh, with five years of market experience and training experience. Uh, we are always following the up-to-date technologies and relevant technologies. We are offering them to you. So two years prior to the Java developer content is not the same as that the content that you are learning. We are updating our curriculum, adding new content, and removing whatever is outdated. Um, and we are doing it throughout the year, uh, and we are doing it for our alumni as well. If you graduate from our bootcamp, if we are teaching something new as a upskill, we are also offering that to you. Uh, we have partnership from the accredited institutions like Florida Department of Education, uh, Salesforce, Stanford University professors. We are working with them together in some areas. And Java Developer is one of them. Um, so when you graduate, you might have an opportunity to work with Stanford professors one-to-one uh, -one, uh, if you prefer to go with that route as well. Uh, and we are accredited uh, from the Richmond College. Uh, why you should prefer Tech Pure Education? What is our difference? First of all, guys, we are combining the education methodology, education pedagogy with the IT skills. Some people may be super smart, may be genius, may be inventing new technologies, may be creating an application from scratch. But if that person is not able to deliver in a way that the people can understand, it is nothing. It is not useful. So what is required? The teaching in a way that anybody can understand and the experience, the knowledge, the skill. So that's why we are able to teach anyone the IT from scratch who has no IT background. If you don't ha have IT background, no worries. More than 90% of our students has no IT background. So that is fine uh, because we are teaching from scratch, from the installation, from the coding language, from the advanced tools, one by one, step by step. Uh, we are following the industry demands and trend and we have rich documentation. Even we are updating our documentation this year for the upcoming student with recording materials, with short videos, with dynamic hands-on activities. And you are able to prefer, you, you have a chance to switch your um, program. The one that we have, we have about 10 programs. You can switch between the courses if you want to. And our instructors has uh, published the books that is on Amazon, you can go ahead and purchase. But if you enroll, you do not need to purchase because we are giving it for free for our students. Um, we are giving full support from beginning to the end, starting from content from scratch with live instruction and supported recording materials. We are giving you mentoring, career coaching, everything you need from scratch. So it is very hard to um, decide what to learn because there are millions of millions of resources. What is the best for you? Yeah? Where you are going to start? If you start a material that is 
above your level, then you will stuck, you will scared and you will back up. But if you go one by one like a ladder with the support of, with the support of our trainers, our mentors, our technical support, you will be just fine and you will be able to graduate and uh, get into the IT field. Um, so we have many support and uh, for the upcoming students, we will be able to offer uh, like some different language support such as German and French and uh, Russian. So we will be able to give that support as a mentoring support for you, for, uh, for our students. Uh, as I said, you know, uh, accredited institution and, uh, you know, the institution that is proven um, giving a good education is important for the boot camps. So you can find some content from Udemy or YouTube or any other resource, public resource, but it is just a, a tip of the iceberg, just a small piece of the whole content. So um, the some of the institutions, independent institutions, reviewed our um, institution and gave us the tradition we made this year, 2023, best coding boot camps. And one of the institution, Career Karma, uh, chose us as preferred partner. All right. So that is a little bit about tech pro education. Um, now um, we will talk about the front end, back end, and mobile developer content overall. Our trainer, uh, I will invite Mr. Otko. Uh, he will talk about front end and back end technologies overall in a high level. Uh, so if you have any question, we will answer those questions uh, at the end. <coughs> okay. So let me. Uh, invite Mr. Otko. Hi, Mr. Otko, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Okay. Hello, dear friends. <laughs> so uh, let me just uh, discuss a little bit about our front end and back end topics that we are, will cover in this bootcamp. <clears throat> So uh, initially, like before we start, we need to uh, understand what's front end and what's back end. I think so. Uh, when we say front end, it is like uh, the thing that uh, when you just visit any website or web application, you know, whatever you see on the screen is is like a front end application, like front end side of the application. So uh, as a front end developer, you need to uh, be able to develop, create all those contents. Like uh, for that, uh, we need to. As a front end developers uh, should know what are the first, they need to know the uh, HTML, CSS, and also the uh, JavaScript. These are three main uh, uh, programming languages that uh, one should know as a front end developer. And on the top of that, after learning these three, uh, to be a front end developer, there are some uh, libraries that uh, front end applications are developed. So for that, we teach uh, React as a uh, tool which will to develop uh, front-end applications. And, uh, and it will take around, uh, to be a front-end developer, it will take around uh, four months, three and four months. OK, uh, I think we can. All right. So a yeah, front-end developer, pretty much, I think they will learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript coding language. JavaScript is actually a huge a part of their coding language. And they will learn React is the main tool that will take about, I, I think, about four months. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm just summarizing the thing. Okay. Back end developer. Okay. And uh, we said that front end is whatever you see on the screen. Yes. And the uh, back end side is the side which is not visible. Okay. So uh, as a back end developer, uh, the, uh, what's the responsibilities of back end developers? For example, uh, let's say uh, there are some data and uh, the storing data and uh, processing data, and at the same time, uh, being able to send uh, the requested data to backend side are the responsibilities of backend developers. So for that, uh, as a backend, backend developer, you will start with Java as a main uh, language, programming language. After that, on the, uh, there are some tools with, about uh, database like SQL, uh, uh, PostgreSQLs, and uh, you need to learn these tools. After that, uh, to develop front-end application, we, we, uh, front-end, backend 
uh, application, the backend developers should uh, uh, should know about Spring Boot. These are the highly demanded tools in industry, and uh, as a backend developers, they should know this as Spring Boot. And also at the same time, uh, among uh, beside these tools, uh, you need to learn about uh, some uh, skills like algorithms or uh, Amazon Web Service or microservices. These are the skills that you should know uh, when you go on market and they are uh, demanded skills. Again, uh, the duration of these courses, like uh, since you are learning from the scratch, the main Java course will take around two months. And then uh, after that, uh, you will focus on some uh, backend tools like SQL or uh, PostgreSQL or MongoDB or Hibernate. These are the tools that are needed for uh, uh, storing the backend uh, data or processing data. And I think this will take around uh, uh, two months. Yeah. Mm -hmm, around, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And then uh, at the end, end of like end of each backend and frontend, uh, there will be some projects uh, which will be con uh, conducted by um, in instructors. Mm -hmm. And after finishing all these tools, there will be two separate projects. One is for frontend, and the other one is for the backend side. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, I have a friend uh, in Dallas here. Um, so he, I was discussing, you know, what he's doing uh, at Chase Bank, and he just knows React, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. He doesn't know anything else. Uh, he become a React developer, uh, but in the front end side, we are teaching extra tools, and in the back end, we have also in the same bank different person. Uh, he is a Spring Boot developer. He all he knows is Spring Boot. He doesn't know. Uh, of course, Spring Boot and Java, he knows, but he doesn't know like uh, any, you know, AWS services or MongoDB or Hibernate, that kind of stuff. Uh, and he just knows this, that is enough. But we are, why we are teaching all these right here, the related technologies, um, because you never know in your local country or in your local market, you never know technology, like what they are using. Maybe they are, use, they, they are requiring MongoDB then you will just work with MongoDB as an example, or you will be just required to know advanced SQL that will give you a job or just Supreme Boot is enough. So we are teaching all of these because we want you to be a backend developer, which means uh, not just Spring Boot developer, not just Hibernate developer or not just SQL developer. There is a job called SQL developer. If you know SQL very well, you know database structure, then you, are, you, you can become an a SQL developer. But uh, we are teaching these tools because you never know which of these tools will give you a job. And our goal is to get you a job. Yeah. Last one uh, is full stack. So yeah, uh, it is prob prob probably, I think, the combination of both, right? Uh, full yes, stack. Yes, it is uh, the combination of front end and back end. And if you know this too, then you will become a full stack developer. Yeah. And uh, which the means that you can developer. also go, you can develop the full stack application, the front end side and uh, back end side also. Yeah, and this is what we prefer, uh, honestly, uh, to you if you are interested to become a developer. Uh, I prefer personally to go with this route, full stack route, uh, because in the latest technologies, back end is related to front end anyway, right? So you can become a React developer just knowing React that is good, but uh, in the interview, even though they don't use any backend technologies, they can ask the candidate, hey, do you know Spring Boot or do you know anything about database side? And if the answer is yes, it is high likely, you know, more likely than they can get offer. So we recommend, I personally recommend you to uh, go with the full package as a full stack, no front end, no back end, uh, get, the internship, get the projects done and then go to the market that way. Uh, okay. And also, like uh, yeah. for the front end side, the main goal is to get data from back end side. Yes, or as a back end developer, the main goal is to uh, prepare something uh, for requested data to front end side. So, if you know both, then it will be easy to prepare those endpoints, like the interaction. Yes, you can just prepare some good interaction between these two uh, tools because they are separate things. And if you know both uh, back end and front end side, which means that uh, you become a good developer because you know what the front end will request or uh, you know the, the other side will request yes correct exactly think, uh, exactly yeah yeah that's that's correct 
so this is the, our programs. And lastly, um, we have mobile developer program as well. Um, so uh, yeah, we are, yeah, Mr. Otko, you can go ahead and. Okay, as a mobile developer, it is like uh, being able to develop applications for mobile applications like uh, phones or tablets. And uh, they are like two separate platforms. One is Android and iOS. And if you know the React Native and using this React Native, you can develop uh, applications for the both platforms to the uh, mobile, uh, to iOS and also for the Android. For that, uh, uh, we teach like React Native language, which is also based on uh, JavaScript. So uh, you need to know JavaScript and plus uh, React. And it is also the highly demanded uh, skill in the market because uh, you can just know one uh, programming language and you can develop uh, application for both platforms. Correct. When they actually, I think, in, enroll this full stack or front end side, they will be already learning uh, JavaScript and they already learning React. So they have idea how React works. Yes, so it exactly. will be probably easier to learn React Native, yeah, uh, because yes. yeah, I mean, if you have more courses, library which is based on the, uh, JavaScript, so it will be easier. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So yeah, this is also and mobile developer. You know, guys, it may not be as popular as normal web developer, uh, but everything is going to mobile nowadays. So this is also something that uh, you can consider when you enroll our full stack package or front end package, you can also enroll this mobile developer with a few more weeks or I don't know how long it takes, uh, but I am assuming it is not gonna take as long as front end developer, but there are also details to know here. When you learn React Native, you will be able to uh, create a mobile application that works on both Android and iOS devices, yeah. which is very good, yeah, perfect. All right, uh, Mr. Otko, thank you very much uh, for your okay. great presentation. Um, so you. I would like to hand nice over day. to our guest speaker. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate for your time. Okay, uh, Mr. Omer, it is time to listen uh, from our alumni uh, who is here. Uh, Mr. Omer, can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hi, how are you? Thank you very much, how are you? Good, thank you. So uh, thank you for coming first uh, sure, no on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, so you, you are here with us. So uh, yeah, can you please talk a little bit about your experience or anything that you want to share so uh, you can help people decide uh, if this program is for them or not? Sure. Thank you very much for having me for the invitation. And my name is Omer. I am living in Poland for two years now. And I started the Techpro Bootcamp education right like 10 months ago. And I finished it three months ago or like two and a half months ago. Now I am working in a software company in a full stack developer job for like till the end of my course. The, at the moment I finished the course, I was able to find the job. Alhamdulillah, now I'm working in it. So if you have any questions, I maybe I can answer those. Like yeah. So yeah, my question is. Uh, so usually, I hear for the new people who is trying to become a developer, it is impossible for me to do this. It is impossible. That, I mean, they don't believe. You know, it is possible that you can finish the boot camp and you can get a job. And you are here live example. I mean, without you saying saying anything, even, I think, uh, because even I myself, you know, uh, it it doesn't sound realistic because some people go has to go to college, get degree, and they are having having hard time to find a job, but bootcamp, uh, what is the benefit that you got, you know, from the bootcamp and make it easy for you to get the job? So I am I am not a philosopher, so I won't say nothing is impossible if you believe, etc. <laughs> but uh, for uh, for my experience, in my experience and like, I mean, I think you have the numbers. How many of your alumni can find the job? I mean, mm -hmm. lots of people can find a job after finishing a boot camp. Right. And with the, with the boot camp you get from TechPro, I mean, now I am working like for two and a half months and I am not so deeply experienced, but I can tell like 
the things you have learned from uh, Tech Pro is enough in that way. Uh, you know, the heart, the, the most important part of this job of the software engineer uh, is the OOP, the, the thing you say OOP, the, it is the heart, heart of the business. So you need to understand how those languages are working, what is happening behind the scenes. And when you get a good grab, when you get a good understanding on the, on those concepts, and you will be successful. You will find the job easily because the interviewers, the companies are lo looking for the in the candidates. Of course, they will send some problems for you to solve using the languages, but they are mostly in interested in the how you see things, how you, how you understand how is the uh, programming languages are working. So it mm -hmm. is so important to know those stuff. And when it comes to TechPron, like the, so there is a guy named Suleiman in the TechPro who is a, who is an instructor in Core Java. And also I believe he is one of the co-founders of the company. And I mean, he knows, he knows the business very well. He knows the languages, the technical parts very well. And the most important thing, okay, you can know something, but this is this is a course this is an education course so you need to you need to tell you need to explain the things you know in a way that people is going to understand as you say in the beginning of the presentation so this guy is doing this pretty well so you can get a good understanding you can understand the things with After you complete the part, you just move move along, and when you finish the course on all of all other topics, and it is not like it is not the end of everything for your experience in the boot camp. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Like, you don't pay, you don't have to pay the full price when you take the course. So they they give you an opportunity for. Like you can give some of them now and you can give some later when mm -hmm. you find the job. And I am going to look at it in business wise. I mean, I know the everyone who is working in Tecpro and Tecpro itself is a consist of good people, but in business wise, they you have a debt in here and they they want you to find the job so they can get their money. Like, <laughs> so they, they are really helping you to get uh, to find the job to land it like mm -hmm. af after everything and they just they call you they ask you how you're doing uh, is everything is all, all right do you have any struggles uh, how many interviews you got do you have any problems that we can help they are sending you uh, sources that you can work on they can they, they give you some experienced people's opinions about those stuff yeah, I can see those. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I, I wish. Yeah, it, it is something that it is very important that you said. Um, you know, you cannot clone somebody else's brain. If I know Java very well, it doesn't mean I can teach you very well that content. It is a methodology, and uh, we prepared. I know from the beginning that that Java developer content. Uh, we prepared everything from scratch. Of course, uh, with our knowledge, uh, with the help of many different resources, combine them together, that is not enough. You need to find a way to deliver, to teach, in a way that the people can understand. And Core Java is very important. So we are proud that we even have a book for that. Uh, there is Java book that is published in Amazon. Um, so we are proud that you are happy with the education and congratulations that on your job offer. Uh, and wishing you uh, the best. And I hope you get everything in depth in the work and then get your promotions and uh, yeah, congratulations again. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Also, I need, mm -hmm. I want to tell Go one ahead. more thing. Now, uh, the thing is like, I, after I finished the course, I invite in the first interview I got, I learned the job. So mm -hmm. I don't have so lots of experience about the interviews, wow, but what, what I see like, I wasn't surprised during mm. the interview. 
because the, I understand what the guy is asking. I understand what he wants. And I understand those stuff thanks to what I get before. Wow, perfect. Yeah, it is, we hear that a lot. So we, as you said, our goal is to get you a job. And we are teaching, mentoring, career coaches there to give you some interviews, mock interview, how you are doing, did you apply? Because it happens, right? We need motivation. We need someone to push us sometimes. I mean, not everybody is self-motivated. Not everybody can apply a job and get prepared. It is not possible sometimes, yeah? So we are just uh, trying to help. We have a source of documentation throughout these years. Uh, knows what is gonna, what they're gonna ask you. We know, we have information about that. We know how things work. And we are trying to add them in our curriculum, in our interview sessions, uh, you know, with your mentors, they are helping you. Um, and we are happy that you did not surprise in your first, it is very tough, you know, to get, honestly, uh, to get the offer in the first interview uh, with no I priority, but it is tough. Of uh, course, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know it's a blessing from the Allah. I mean, Alhamdulillah, I got this, but, you know, there is a way Allah created things, like, you need you need to do some steps. You need to move some steps to achieve something. Yeah, that is the way. Yeah, but it is preparation as well. Correct, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Everything should. I mean, and in the interview, the good news is, uh, I am also doing some interview. I am also interview panel. We look at the candidate's resume and say, okay, this is a good candidate. Then we ask them question, core question. Now you have one hour of chance, right? One hour of time period. We are asking. Uh, tell me about yourself, what you are doing. Tell me about your tools and asking specific questions. What is this? What is this? A few questions. And we are checking and our hiring manager is also checking. What person that guy is able to answer the question? Other person is not possible because all of the technologies are different. I am using new tools every day almost, uh, every week, every month. But are you able to get, give answer a good amount, like 60 to 80 percent, I would say? Are you able to answer them properly? Plus, are you confident? You know, are you scared of yourself or are you confident? It's if you are confident, confident yeah. uh, then they will believe in you. I mean, it is body language and everything. If you are scared, if you say, mm, I cannot do it, of course, they will not give you offer. Even though you are, again, super smart, they cannot read your mind. They cannot see what is in your brain. They can just see your words, hear your words, and see you physically in body language. And in this online environment, you know, people are giving remote uh, interviews, right? Uh, they don't know you. They just know your words. You have one hour uh, and you have to, we are preparing to you that uh, moment as well. Uh, is there anything you would like to add? Uh, I really like your points and your uh, experience. No, no. Thank you very much for the invitation again. And I will be with... Uh... With the guys who take the course in four months, I guess for experience sharing, I made a promise mm -hmm. to Miss Ella. Mm -hmm. So see you then. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you for yes, joining. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay. So that was our uh, alumni, Mr. Omer. He got the interview and he got the job in the first interview. Uh, again, it doesn't happen always, as I said, but it happens if you believe in yourself and if you make, if you convince the the people uh, in front of you, nothing is surprised. Uh, so I have a few slides talking about details and uh, schedule overall and the pricing point. Uh, then we will end the class in about in about five to ten minutes. So okay, this happens as our alumni said. Um, this is happening. It is not you know not uh, something impossible. Uh, but how it happens, guys? There are there are lots of work and dedication as an institution, as a team in tech for education. We are giving live sessions, but what if you cannot join the live session? What if you miss it? What if you don't understand some of the content? Yeah. Then we have small study groups that you can recap, you can learn um, those, those points. And we have practice sessions, extra practice sessions, giving you the practice hands-on, it giving you, asking you a question. You are having your time trying to do it. Trainer is helping you to get it done. We have projects as well uh, throughout the course. When you finish a topic, then you get mini project related to the topic. And when you finish the entire front end or back end, 
We are giving a front end project and a back end project as well. When you finish those courses, that is the main project. That will give you the confidence. The 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 you will see the the whole uh, puzzle is completed. Then you will go to the market with that project. Mentoring sessions is there. Uh, resume and interview preparation is very important. Is there? And we have some interactive Kahoot and uh, Kahoot projects as well. Uh, we are also giving you the soft skills that you need. Again, you can be super smart, super programming. You can be perfect in algorithm. It is nothing if you cannot explain the, the, the hiring people. Either it can be a developer in front of your hiring manager. You need to be able to talk, express yourself, express yourself. Uh, and you need to know also how the software development cycle is working. So what is requirement? What is application? What is front end? What is back end? What is API? Okay, you can know that, but are you able to explain it with a couple words? Are you able to explain it? So we will give you that confidence. We have those SDLC sessions throughout the camp. It is as important as knowing programming. So soft skills is as important as knowing programming because that will give you the idea of how the environment works, what you are going to do when you get a job, and what you will be able to, uh, you know, what kind of questions you will see in the interviews. As our alumni, Mr. Romer said, the questions that he got is no surprise because of our education model. We are teaching those interview-related questions as well. Uh, as I said, small study group, with small study group, you will be able to have small piece of student that will be, uh, that will have a chance to uh, ask questions and get the response for the topics that is needed to be covered. A practice sessions as well. We are offering practice sessions around on average once a week. And we have mini project, as I said, for example, in Java, during the Java, you are having a mini project during the, for example, SQL, you are, you are learning another project. We are giving you this mini piece of project, similar project that you can do at work in real life as well. But our also main project will be at the end of your uh, programs, your bootcamp. That will be kind of simulation of real work environment, how you do, what you do, uh, how you can create an application from scratch. Uh, mentoring sessions are very, very important because that will give you the confidence, the, um, the chance to talk, to see your weakness, because we are not perfect. We are human, we have mistakes, we have some weakness points. Uh, and in the interview, they can ask you, what is your weakness point? Yeah. If you say, I don't know, or if you say, I am perfect, I don't have any weakness point, that is a red flag. That is a problem. Yeah, Because if you are working in IT industry, probably you have some issues or you have some weakness. Yeah, you, 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 Or you, there is something you know, that you need to be fixed about yourself or your, your psychology or right? your, your method in IT. So in the mentoring sessions, guys, we are giving you small groups uh, with assigned mentor that will teach you, individual, uh, that will actually help you to master master those uh, content that you learn in live classes. Plus, a career coaching session will be available for you when you graduate. So you will have a meeting with your career coaches. You, they will introduce you. If you have any question about what will happen after you graduate, they will tell you step by step. Then they will help you for your resume preparation, your social media accounts, such as LinkedIn. And then uh, they will keep you in touch. Whenever you have a question after graduation, we are done with you. We are not done, sorry. We are not done with you, right? We are going to call you, hey, did you apply? How is it going? Or you will have someone dedicated to you let's say you apply the job then they called you okay we will have interview tomorrow or next week then you you get just get excited you don't know what to do then you will contact those career coaches they will help you uh, in the process uh, okay so 
Now, schedule-wise, guys, we are giving on average five days a week, three days weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for example, and then two days, weekend, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and there is around 18 hours to 21 hours of live instruction per week. Uh, and you will have some extra activities such as mentoring sessions, or you can have some self-study with your group, or you can have some recap sessions. Uh, there is extra. Uh, in total, average will be uh, about, with the, without project, it, it is about six to eight months. Java developer is a little bit larger content. Uh, the instruction is minimum six months. Plus, you have, you have projects like backend, frontend project. It, it can take about seven to eight months in total um, with the project. That is the total course duration. Uh, so if you just want to get more information, the steps for enrollment is, if you are not sure what to do, uh, you get in touch with our customer service to get free consultation. You will ask questions to them. They will answer, for example, what is the price? What is the uh, step? Uh, what does the schedule look like? What is the details? Okay. They will, you can get from them information. Then once you make your decision, you will sign an agreement and then you can join our orientation and normal classes. Uh, one thing I would like to remind, remind you that is if you are not sure if this course is for you, you try it no matter what for 30 days. We have lots of free students as well. They are joining our program and they are converting to the um, normal program. So if you are not sure, you can join for free, then see how it goes, see if the schedule fits you, see if you like our courses, if you like our curriculum, if you like our teaching, uh, then you make your own decision one month. Okay. Um, so we have now accreditation from the job center in Germany. I don't know the German name. They have a German name, but um, that's, that's called known as job center. If you are living in Germany, uh, you have some steps to do. That job center pays your tuition, full tuition. Uh, we have an agreement with them. We are telling, hey, Java developer program is this, this many hours the students will take, blah, blah. Then uh, they got they, we got approval from them. And uh, for that, you need to still get the detailed information from our customer service because uh, you need to be prepared for the interview in Job Center. Job Center is not going to approve you directly without asking any question. They will ask you questions, ask you materials, ask you about our institution, our program. You will be prepared for that. You will be given the required documentation so you can go to interview. Then once you get acceptance, they, they will pay your tuition for you. <clears throat> Um, tuition wise, it is guys depends on where you are, which country you are. We have different payment plan and we are transparent about it. You can contact to our customer service. Uh, you have options for single payment or during the program payment and after job placement. So there are some advantages of paying single payment in terms of total amount and in terms of the install in payment installment. But no matter what, which, you, which one you choose, you will get some installment option. So just contact with customer service to get details about total price and the installment plan, monthly installment plan. So I said, guys, each person is different. You have to try yourself. You have to attend our courses, see if it is good for you or not. Just go ahead and try it for free. Uh, once you enroll, let's say you enroll it and you are not happy with that, you can get your money back for full refund within the 30 days. I think 30 days is a good enough amount so you can see, try how it goes and make your decision after. Um, but again, uh, probably you are here, you are listening to us probably because you have someone who knows who graduated from TechPro they find a job or they are current student, they are happy with the education uh, or they're in the interview process. Yeah, You are here for that reason. 
So um, for that reason, come and join live classes and see how it goes. And then uh, we are ready to help you. We are ready to give you full service uh, and uh, hopefully prepare you the best way possible and make you confident and get the job. Because again, dry knowledge will not give you a job. Knowing Java perfect will not give you a job. But being able to explain it, being able to uh, confidently explain it to the person, that will in increase your job offer possibility. Um, all right, thank you for joining to our program. Um, uh, so thank you for joining for your time in this beautiful Sunday. Uh, Ms. Ella, back to you. Thank you, Mr. Ahmed. Thank you for your beautiful presentation. I see that uh, we, I mean, as Tech for Education, we are really well prepared for, for our uh, trainees, let's say. So thank you for this beautiful presentation. Thanks to you, Mr. Otgo, and uh, of course, our alumni, Mr. Amar. Uh, so, and I would like to remind again, the starting date of our uh, courses that they will, that will start September 16th. We also offer, as you said, first month free to join so that ever, everyone can observe first to, uh, the courses. And again, I would like to remind and announce that, uh, that the uh, collaboration, let's say, with Lena Tech Academy, we give our students six months of language training, which are French, German and English, three languages. This means that the students who enroll the courses, uh, the courses that will start September 16, they will choose which language they would like to improve and then they get six months of membership from Rosetta Stone plus member, uh, mentorship and speaking classes they will get. So if you would like to uh, take if you would like to get more information about it, you can uh, you can see the numbers, customer relations consultant numbers. You can call us or you can text us from the WhatsApp or Slack channel. Uh, we would be very happy to uh, give you the more information, detailed information about the courses. Uh, we try to uh, answer all of your questions. So I would like to thank everyone who who is there, who is here. Uh, today for your attention, for your attendance. Thank you. Uh, I wish everyone has a great day. Goodbye.